Back in 2020, CBC News predicted a pandemic baby boom because apparently news pundits thought being locked down with your partner in a tiny apartment bathing in hand sanitizer during a high stress global catastrophe sounded super hot. <laughs> but none of that came true, proving Canadians don't get their sex tips from Ian Hannah Mansing. <laughs> In fact, StatsCan says we're in a baby bust, which means Canadians are having fewer kids thanks to economic insecurity, job loss, and for some of us, seeing children and being like, ew. <laughs> Full disclosure, I am not just a redheaded cast member who shows up every week in a new blazer. I'm also 35, divorced, childless, and addicted to blazers, and I am beyond okay with all of it. I like my children like I like my coffee. Not made by me. <laughs> and I've been told having kids is truly one of the most fulfilling things you can do in life. But to that I say, have you ever spent your savings on an impromptu trip or quit a job without a backup plan or destroyed a large pizza by yourself with a cold glass of wine and no pants? <laughs> because those are also the most fulfilling things and you can't do any of that with kids. <laughs> Thank you. Sad about missing out on the miracle of childbirth? Not really, because I can always experience the blessing of a hernia or the honor of kidney stones. And am I hating on people for having kids? No. Just don't make me feel bad about not having them. There's room for everyone. I mean, there's not room for everyone to have babies. I mean, we've all been to Costco on a Saturday, so. So we know the last thing the world needs is more people. <laughs>